Welcome back to Cure for the Common Game. Today, in deck number 876, we're going to talk about Nagao, Bound by Honor. Pretty sure I messed that up. This one's been waiting for a while. In original Kamigawa, Bushido 1, to whenever Nagao attacks, Samurai you control get plus 1, plus 1. Uh, this has been sitting in the deck box partially built for a long time. And then Kamigawa Neon Dynasty came out and gave us more Samurais. Enough Samurai to finish the deck. Still had to cheat a little bit, but, you know, got to do what you got to do. Uh, so we're playing Mono White Samurai. Our, uh, we don't have a whole lot of ramp because they're not, there's not a whole lot of expensive ones, you know. Uh, but we have a Soul Ring, Hedron Crawler. Unstable Obelisk, and Commander Sphere. I know Commander Sphere looks weird in a monocolor deck, but you get to sack it and draw a card if you don't need it. So, um, But we are playing Mono White, so there's some things that I wanted to try to keep as true to the Samurai Spirit as possible. So I want to play Samurai, and I want to pump Samurai. So we're playing Hall of Trump to give them all plus one. We are... Uh, Sarah's Blessing is going to make them all Vigilant. High ground's going to make them all, they can block two creatures. Ra of the Ranks, of course, still a plus one. Um, I like Call to Glory. <laughs> glory for the Empire. Uh, your Samurai get 1-1, one, one, and you untap all creatures you control. This is a great instant. Uh, this is a great surprise blocking trick. Uh, this way, you can swing out at a player without fear of not having blockers, you know. Of course, Brave the Elements is going to make it to where they can do what they want. Uh, Armored Ascension, we're mono-wide, of course. Unbreakable Formation, that's a very samurai thing, uh, you know, where they can't die. Now let's look at Promise of Tomorrow, because this card excites me. I I have, I don't have enough of these. Uh, I love this. It, I know we're talking about, you know, uh, you know, two-year-old card now, but whenever a creature you control dies, you exile it. And at the beginning of each end step, if you ain't got any creatures, you sack this and get everything you exile back. Death can wait. That's right. I love this card. Uh, Forvin. Prevent all damage that would be dealt to creatures this turn. That is the red way of killing creatures, you know. It totally is. Uh, we have a Citadel Siege. Put two of them encounters on a creature you control. I'm just saying. Anyway, uh, I've only got three more oddball cards here. The Ancestral Katana. Figured Samurai had to had to have it. Uh, we have a Story Circle. Uh, I love, you know, it's choose your own circle protection. Uh, it's not that bad in Mono White. But, and then lastly, we have the Weather Runestone, you know, to where people can't. Non-land car, permanent cards in graveyards and libraries can't enter the battlefield or players can't cast spells from their graveyards and libraries. Take that, Panglacial Worm. <laughs> I mean, there's other things, but uh, it does fix the problem that is the Panglacial Worm. Let's look at our mono-white card draw. Inheritance. Spend three mana to draw a card when a creature dies. Keep in mind, it says, use this ability only when a creature is put into the graveyard from play. And only once for each creature put into the graveyard. So it's anybody's creature. That's what makes this, uh, I mean, three mana is a lot, uh, but it's renewable, or, or renewable, repeatable. And then, of course, we have the Seer Sundial. But let's get into our samurai, our mono-white samurai. We have Devoted Retainer, Bushido 1. They didn't bring Bushido back. Uh, the Bushi Tenderfoot. Now, I know it's, we don't get a lot of flip cards. Uh, these were the flip cards in the Kamigawa block, so I will explain it. Uh, the end with the casting cost is face or, or is end up when you cast it. Like, this is Bushi Tenderfoot when you cast it. When a creature dealt by Bushi Tenderfoot this turn is put into a graveyard, you flip it, and then it becomes Kinzo the Hard-Hearted with Double Strike and Bushido 2. 
Uh, it's a very unique set of cards they did. Um, they figured out that was, in my opinion, that was the precursor to uh, double face cards. Kanda's Hatamoto, Bushido 1. As long as you control a legendary samurai, this gets bigger and has vigilance. Shouldn't be a problem, right? Uh, <laughs> Hand of Honor, Pro Black, Bushido 1. Inner Chamber Guard, Bushido 2. Samurai of the Pale Curtain, Bushido 1. And if a permanent would be put into a graveyard, Exile instead. So that's, that's a big thing. Um, yeah, because... In Commander, I've said it before, we play with our, our graveyards. It's just as easy as playing with it in our hand, you know. So one of the new ones, Ijano Exemplar. Uh, samurai Warrior Attacks Alone, you know. Selfless Samurai. Or I have a Moth Rider flying, Bushido 1. Noriko Yamazaki. Kitsune Blade Master, the first strike. Imperial Subduer. Indebted Samurai. Whenever a Samurai you control is put into a graveyard. I, I love the the cards that are members of the tribe that encourage the tribe. I really, really do. Moth Rider. Because, you know, 4 mana 2-2 two, two flying. Bushido 1. Takino's Cavalry. Seven Tail Mentor. Sunblade Samurai. Kitsune Dawnblade. There's Takino. Each other samurai you control gets 1-1 one, one for each point of Bushido it has. <laughs> this, I can't think if I've already built Takino. Maybe I have, maybe I haven't. Uh, if I haven't, I probably need to because it doesn't look like we're getting any more Bushido cards. <laughs> Imperial Oath, while not... A samurai, it does create three samurai, so and you scry three off of it. I mean, uh, samurai enforcers, silver storm samurai, and well, our last samurai, sky blessed. Now, is that enough samurai? I don't know. Uh, I started building it and I had all of the original Kamigawa block ones before Neon Dynasty came out, and I had six more cards in there, right? I had six more creatures. Because I just didn't feel like that was enough. So I do have some changelings going on in here. Uh, Imposter, Bloodline, Cohort, Sentinel, Changeling Hero, and then the Birthing Bows. Just to make more Samurai. Now, we have a Samurai Planeswalker. Right in the Wandering Emperor. So I put the Wandering Emperor in and that also made me want to put the Wanderer in. Because, you know, why not? And that brings us to our removal suite. So we have, are these in mana cost order? Wow, they are. Hmm. Lucky offering. Y'all know when a new set comes out, I try to use as many cards from that set in decks of that set. Which is like I said the word set too many times. But you know what I mean. Um, lucky offering, disenchant, lapse of certainty. I'm telling you what. That is, the white counter spell is good, but this is great. Counter target spell, if it's countered this way, put it on top of its owner's library instead of the graveyard. It, uh, somebody's casting that Crater Hoof Behemoth or that Overloaded Rift or whatever that game ending spell is, you can lapse it and put it on top of their deck. And everybody else at the table knows what's fixing to happen. The surprise factor is gone. So there's a good chance, yeah. And, I mean, it does cost tempo, if nothing else. Let's draw that card again. Uh, Oblivion Ring, Banishing Light, Stasis Snare, Patrician Scorn. This is not bad for Mono White. I mean, uh, it could conceivably be a free Tranquility. Enchantments uh, over the past year, especially with this set, but for the past year, MH2 had a bunch of... Uh, Enchantment themed cards in it, and so does Neon Dynasty. Mass enchantment destruction is getting as important as mass creature destruction nowadays. Route, gotta have it. Instant Speed Wrath, 
Gotcha. Uh, Cleansing Nova and Planar Burst. It only leaves us with three little lawn basics, you know, the Drifting Meadow, Desert of the True, and, of course, of that Rogue's Passage. Because, what did I buy, 504 of those Rogue's Passages years ago? And I'm actually getting pretty low. There's going to come a day where you all don't see, see decks without Rogue's Passages. <laughs> um, but that is it for today. So we're going to go over here and put 876 on the wall. Been waiting for a long time to finish this deck. So, 876 is done on the wall. But that is what we have got for today. I do appreciate it. Um, Glad to get that one done. Glad to get it crossed all off the list. Uh, those all older sets. I'd like to try to try to get some of those off so I, I can just. But it takes doing them every day to for me to make any ground. And anyway, I appreciate it. But right now we're going to go ahead and shuffle and cut. <laughs> 